Hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Uh whoops, <laughs> forgot my logo. <laughs> Alright. So Rick, welcome back to another video. We're doing a Dragon Ball Fighters reshade showcase. I've literally just finished the reshade and I think it turned out pretty darn good. Pretty darn solid. It this this took hours. Literally took hours out of my life. Alright. So let me just go straight into it. It's disabled currently, alright? But, there you go. I really feel like this looks so much better. Like, I feel like it looks so much better. If anything, I guess you could adjust a little bit. But, here's the thing. The more I touch on this, the more I'm gonna fuck it up, okay? Because, uh... Planet Namek specifically, okay? Destroyed Namek, to be more specific. Now, here's the thing. I really feel like this... Is kind of staying true to Dragon Ball. Okay? I've been with Dragon Ball literally my entire life, so... <laughs> but I really feel like this one... Makes it look even more, um, you know, special. This game has a space special, not spatial. No, that's something else entirely. Has a special place in our hearts. Especially in mine. I've been literally grown up on this. Goku Black. Good old fucking Goku Black. I had so many issues getting this dude right. Okay? Mostly because his uh, face is going a little bit towards being brownish. Okay? Yeah. And depending on the map, he's gonna be looking a little bit different. <laughs> so it was extremely hard to get him right. Now, the the thing is... Oh, and there's a baby Vegeta. Super Baby 2. A good old Super Baby 2. Yes, this is the default one. The reshade off. Yeah. That is such a huge fucking difference. It's incredible to me how the game still doesn't come out with the correct colors and such. And contrast and whatever. Uh, you will probably have to adjust this depending on your monitor settings as well. But for me, these are the correct settings. Um, yeah. This to me looks absolutely fucking stunning. Beautiful, even. Let's check good old hit. There we go. And now the character that was literally the reason why I had to spend an extra three hours getting the reshade done. Janimba. This motherfucker is the sole reason as to why um, Planet Namek was being fucked up by the reshade. Okay? Specifically his uh, red colors. Okay, it was incredibly hard to get right, because the moment you fuck with these colors, you also mess up with the other colors, including Jiren. Uh, yeah. Kale. <coughs> Bless you. Then there's Topo, because, yeah, he's red. Then there's Ribriane, which is the character that I don't personally like too much. And then there is um, the Bura, which gets affected by that as well. Uh, you could see why Janimba is problematic. Because getting Janimba right means you get right more than half the roster, probably. Because uh, almost everybody has a little bit of red inside. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Even Broly has red. Believe it or not, the red on Janimba affects Master Roshi because his skin is red-ish. Okay, he's got a little bit of a tad going on, for whatever reason. And then there's good old, um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Alright. Then there's the other thing. <laughs> the fucking cyan blue hair. Uh, yeah. You have no idea how hard this was to actually get right. Because touching this messes with the water, it messes with the UI... It messes with a lot of other stuff as well. So, yeah. And then there's the yellow. 
Uh, getting right the yellow was pain too, but it was much easier than the rest. Then there's the green because it messes with uh, the grass as well. And a lot of the maps. Yup. Good old Cell, but let's not forget Perfect Cell. Hot diggity damn, he looking good. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I think I like this character the most though, because this motherfucker is... ...in literally no game that I have played. I am unsure if he is in Raging Blast 1 or 2, and or the rest of the Budokai games, because I have only played Budokai Tenkaichi 1. Yeah, I am out of touch. I'm gonna get my ass whooped with doing a playthrough. <laughs> this is only the... the reshade uh, showcase though. Going to good old Majin Buu, the fatty, in the room. And my, probably my favorite character in the entire fucking roster, Super Buu Gohan Absorbed. Yeah, this character that never made the fucking rosters almost ever. I love this guy. And then, Majub. Yeah. The difference in the skin coloring and everything else is just astronomical, in my eyes anyway. You know who's here? Fucking King Cold. Yep. Good old King Cold. <laughs> and we got Bibbidi, or uh, Babidi rather. Bibbidi's his dad. Mm hmm. Alright, enough of this nonsense though. We have something to check out. Oh, also, Android 19 got the massive glow up he deserves. The dude that showed up literally like three episodes in DBZ, maybe two. And then he got blown up by uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. I don't recall if he was Super Saiyan 2 at the time. Anyway, oh, and there's Broly. Yeah. 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 So, I don't even know who this is. Oh, it's Dr. Willow. I was not aware he's in the game. <laughs> anyway. We should probably... Oh, Turtles? Alright. Oh, he decided to show up on screen for whatever reason. So. <clears throat> Let's check this map. I forgot which one it actually is. I think it's Island. Just... Straight up good old normal islands. Let's do some actual gameplay a little bit. Let me actually switch to my uh, controller if the game's gonna allow me. Hello? I think I spent too much time on my mouse. The game does literally not allow me to... Hello? Alright, hold up. Come on. Switch to controller. Don't do me like this. There we go. Alright. So, a little bit of gameplay. A little bit of reshaded gameplay. Whoops. Grab did not work. Don't you dare go easy on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, this looks absolutely fucking beautiful to me. A little bit of mix with Kakarot and Fighters, I think. Is what I got here. Death be motherfucker. No? Alright, it's fine. Alright, let's check out the Death Beam without the reshade. And then I should probably do a before and after. Let's see now. Um, I forgot which one it is. I think it's these. Okay. So, let me do a before and after. You're in my way. Yeah. I mean, you're not noticing the difference all that much in the before and after. But if you look at the screen right now, there is quite a big of a difference. Huge of a difference, even. I went character select. I was trying to go back to screen select. It's fine. I dislike the menus, by the way. Oh, it's gonna take a little while. Just a smidge for the adaptive tone mapper to, you know, adapt. All right. So, 
Stage selection. We are going straight to Planet Dynamic Destroyed. Alright. This stage was pissing me off. Hard. Okay. It was pissing me off hard. It was absolutely horrible just to try to get it right. Absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. To get it right. Because every time I adjusted Janemba, the fucking map would get ruined. The reason is because um, too much brightness and uh, too much saturation on Janemba would make the map look horrible. But I feel like right now it actually looks good. I feel like I have properly contributed to making this look good. As good as possible. Don't you dare go easy on me. <laughs> I warned you. Don't hold it against me no matter how much you're okay. in pain. I really hope I, re I really hope you guys enjoyed the reshade. I feel like I really feel like it's got everything right, honestly. It's got the sparking zero color scheme and stuff. It's got a mix of Dragon Ball Super stuff. It's got a mix of uh Actually, Xenoverse 2, because this is something I've made for Xenoverse 2 as a base. And then I adjusted it a lot for Sparking Zero. Let me, you know what, let me switch characters. My turn now. Damn! It's even noticeable just a little bit in the aura. This is off. This is on. I know it's not all that noticeable. It's actually quite subtle in some cases. But it's very cool. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And, um, should probably check out, uh, you know, the Discord channel and uh, Nexus mods, where you're gonna be able to download the preset. I'll see you in the next video, probably literally in a full playthrough.